Leo. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information will be down below. But without further ado, let us get started. Leo, you are going through a very profound transformation that's going to allow you to see what your purpose is in front of you, okay? So don't resist what's going on right now. If things feel turbulent, if things feel chaotic, if you're like, I have no idea what's going on, but nothing seems to be going right, trust me, this is, you're in exactly the right place, my friend, okay? It's guiding you towards a time where you really get in, this lesson instilled. Whatever is specific lesson that's going on in your life right now, it's going to be instilled so that you're like, I am I am done. I am done. I am blank done. You fill in the blanks, right? Because this is going to be the emphasis that's going to need to take for you to end what it is that you're doing. So, and this is what's going to evolve you and move you forward. Because whenever we have a, a, a belief or a habit of something and we tell ourselves, you know, this happens a lot with us empaths, food, drugs, alcohol. Whenever we have something that we're doing, maybe even a limiting belief, something that we're doing, and we're like, there's no way I can live my life without this then you, we watch for that. I used to tell myself that with caffeine. There's no way I can live my life without this. And that is just a limiting belief. And what happens is, is because we have something that is taking over our energy centers like that, it's like we're giving our power away, right? Because we're, we're basically saying I have no control, right? It's like, it's like saying I, I, I can't go without sugar. It's like, well, then sugar's controlling your life. You know what I mean? But the thing is, whenever we have this energy, then what, what the problem with that is, is that we have, uh, there's a shadow in there somewhere. You know what I mean? And in order for us to evolve into the next level of the video game, we've got to give some to get some, you know what I'm saying? And so the universe is guiding you into this opportunity to let go of this, right? Heal this shadow, heal this time in your life that you've been repeating over and over these patterns that keep going the days that, you know, you think you're doing really good and then bam, uh, going back to the old thing, right? And just know that, um, in order for us to truly evolve out of this energy, we've got to really heal and, 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 and overcome these, these tendencies and these, um, these, these patterns and these limiting beliefs. And, and so right now it's more important than ever, uh, Leo, uh, for you to, um, universe is saying, take a look at your life, Leo. And, and really, you know, again, enter a realm of nostalgia here for just a minute, right? And really look at your life and see how things, see how things have gone up until now. And what areas of your life have been repetitive? Where have you seen the same results? What people have you been attracting that are the same? You know, what outcomes have you been attracting? What, what have you seen that is the same? Because when you are aware of something, then it is much easier to be able to pinpoint it next time it happens and say, what the heck? What the heck? No, I'm done with this. I don't like this. And then whenever we are aware of something, that's when our whole entire in, 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 in intuition and our guides are like letting us know. They're like shaking us. They're like, this is it. This is that thing that you do. And then before you make that same choice, you're going to have that conscious decision to make. And the thing is when we make a conscious decision to do something that we know is wrong for us, but we make it anyway, we consciously go against our intuition. You're what's happening is we are consciously feeding the fear. We're consciously giving into our ego. And that is like, that is like giving an entitled screaming five-year-old child, the donut that he's screaming for. What do you think is going to happen? Right? It's just going to immense intensify that feeling and then next time you're not even going to be able to hear your intuition it's you're only going to be able to hear that screaming five-year-old child you know what i'm saying and so that's why on a very on a on a, on a on a level we have to be very mindful about consciously what choices we are making but we're not able to make the right choice unless we're aware of what is going on so that's why universe is saying take a look at what has happened in your past leo see what people you have attracted see what patterns have repeated themselves and then you want to ask yourself are you going with the flow are you going with the flow or, or do you keep engaging in conflict? See, every time we engage in conflict, and I'm not just talking about the beings around us, but I am talking about with ourselves. Anytime that we have mental warfare about should I or shouldn't I or anything like that, we're battling ourselves. It's our ego battle, right? Because our intuition always knows what way we need to go. And our intuition 
kicks up and it's about five seconds we have to react on that in first intuitive download before our ego minds will come up and deflect it and, and, and make up all these stories about why we shouldn't do what our intuition just told us to do. And usually our ego mind has an idea or the, a, a belief. It talks us into what's easier. And then we're like, oh, sure. You know, it's like when you when you have goals to lose weight and you set your alarm early and your intuition's like, yeah, let's go. And your ego's like, no, it's early. You don't care. You don't care about this. You don't care about changing your life. Let's be honest. You just want to go back to bed. And then your ego will keep you into it. Your ego will talk you into it. It'll make it sound so sweet. Ooh, this bed's so soft. Ooh, it's so early. You don't need to do it. Start tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's the ego for you. So just know when you drop this need to be um, perfect and instead come from a place of having a great time, enjoying your life. What makes you happy? What brings you the most joy in this life? When that happens, you are able to move past this energy, okay? And generally, this finding joy in life when we are at a dark time in our life comes from making other people happy because that sits well with our spirits, right? Because everyone comes from a place of love and whenever we can make someone smile and we make someone happy, it makes us happy, right? So if we can come from a place of service. I'm going to make this person happy. I'm going to make this person smile today. That's going to be my entire objective is making somebody smile. When we do this and when we have this intention, it literally makes us feel so good inside that it gets us up a notch, right? It jumps us up from each vibrational uh, level to the next one, right? And then after that, we want to look for things that we're grateful for. And then after that, we want to just be appreciative for whatever. Appreciation, grateful, same thing. You know what I'm saying though? We want to be appreciative. We want to be grateful. We want to look for the joy. We want to make people happy. When that happens, we keep jumping up the level, okay? And so when we're in a dark place, that's the easiest way to get ourselves out of it because when we're in a dark place, we're only going to be seeing darkness around us because that's what we're attracting. But when we make a conscious effort, effort to jump up that scale, then we are going to see hap better things around us and it keeps getting better and it keeps getting better. So that's the objective right now, Leo. And just know that when we do that, that's when we are able to progress on our journeys and it's going to bring us to that exact destination we are looking for. So whether that is travel, whether that is a loved one, whether that is our soulmate or whether that, whether that is an opportunity to be able to capitalize on a very sex successful career, that is the system. That is it. That is all it is. So be conscious of the programs. Consciously make yourself be joyful. Look for um, ways to make people around you happy. Look for the gratefuls in life. All you have to do is keep your vibration in a place that is is happy, right? That's it. And you're going to have to break through uh, habits that you're used to. You might be used to being negative. Negativity is a habit, right? Looking for drama, gossiping. That's a habit. You know what I mean? Looking for all the things that are, are, are wrong in this life. It's a habit. And the more we just rebuild and re-strengthen those habits, the more we're going to be able to see those sweet results that the universe can't wait to give us because that's all it is. It's just an energetic frequency. We can't hear or feel our spirit guides if we are not in a frequency for them to reach us. And if we're constantly looking at the negative things in life, then we are only going to see that. And anytime we are going through a negative phase it, or, or something that doesn't feel quite so good to us, we're going through a transformation and you're going to be rewarded greatly on the other end. But there are lessons in here. And anytime that we're going through a period of a time in our life where we're like, this is not what I signed up for. Just know that instead of looking at it through that lens, look at it through, okay, well, what can I learn here? What is it that I'm learning? What is it that I can evolve from this from? Okay. And just know that universe is saying, look with moss spirit, it might be a time to recognize where it's a good time to surrender. And that really means surrendering in any place of your life that is an excess. What are you excessively doing? Are you excessively working, exercising, thinking, worrying, like any of these things that you're excessively doing, understand you're out of balance, right? It's like, say we're all, um, you know, balancing spinning plates. Okay. And anytime we're concentrating on say the spinning plate in our one hand, we're going to lose balance in our other hand. And that's going to topple, which is going to topple this one and this one. And you know how this, you know how the story goes, Leo. So it's important to be mindful and find that balance in every area of life and not get too caught up in, in, in the details of things. Just make sure that we're bouncing energies, making sure that we're keeping all those plates alive and always, always, always set intentions about what you long for. Not about what is, you know, every time we speak words, we're manifesting. So instead of speaking the words of this is happening, that's happening, this isn't good, instead start setting the intentions for what you do want. If you wanna be a specific somebody or if you wanna achieve specific results, 
set that intention. I am going to be an astronaut. I'm going to be the best astronaut this planet Earth has ever seen. And let it be. Set it and forget it. And then let the universe guide you to that astronaut life by how you feel. Right? It's as easy as that. And I know astronaut seems crazy, but at the end of the day, this life is absolutely full of miracles and you never know what is going to happen. And as long as you have an intention about what you want, you can achieve it. All right, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.